Golf Karting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, today is actually the first day for what is now what used to be Golf Car TV, which is now Golf Karting TV. And I'm excited to have uh, Christian Amico, who's the uh, CEO of Golf Karting Magazine. And we're kind of joining forces here to uh, bring together uh, the, the two entities, the print and online side of what they have to offer. And then some of the stuff on the online or the, uh, the video part that we can bring in. And so now we are now officially, as of today, Golf Karting TV. So we're excited. Christian, thanks for joining us today, bud. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. So just real quick, uh, maybe give just a, a brief background on Golf Karting, uh, the magazine, and kind of what you guys have done and, and kind of uh, the history of what you have, and then kind of bring it here forward and talk about what we have planned for Golf Karting TV. Yeah, sounds good. So uh, we started the magazine, I think we're in our fourth year now. Uh, I believe we're printing issue number 45. So it's a monthly magazine. I'm sure some of you are aware. Um, we're in Barnes & Noble uh, retailers as well as Publix. And uh, we've been trying to figure out how to do um, a video style portion of the magazine or, or video magazine per se and stumbled across you and your your great videos of what you had and uh we teamed up and uh i think it'll be a uh, a really good addition to our users as well as uh you know adding another property to um you know the whole platform of getting uh more golf karting and customizations out there to the general public as far as golf karting the magazine goes what would you say is is your kind of target audience of obviously golf cart owners, but is there a certain type of owner? Is there a certain region or, you know, just share a little bit about who, who you, who you reach with that, with them. Yeah. What we see mostly through our demographics, and it's kind of hard to say because we don't get a lot of uh, statistical information on who buys the magazine, but um, from the feedback we've gotten, we're about, I'd say about 75% consumer, maybe 25% dealers, but I would say it's more of your DIY crowd. You know, people that um, want to customize their own golf carts and they're looking for, you know, to see what other people are doing out there, um, how they're customizing and what the new trends are, what's the new, uh, you know, audio systems that are out and the better lift kits and, and things of that nature. So I would say it's probably mostly consumer and uh, it's a lot of your people that, you know, want to work on their carts in their garage and everybody uh, wants to be better than the neighbors when it comes to having the coolest golf cart in town. So um, I doubt any of our readers are your, your typical, you know, golfers because most of our golf carts, uh, you know, that are featured and stuff like that never see a golf course. So it's your neighborhood cruisers, you know, your beach goers, things of that nature, you know? Yeah. And I think that's what we've tried to do uh, as far as golf carting on the TV side uh, is really to try to target, you know, you have a lot of folks that focus on the, technical side of things right so they're building things how can i make it go faster and bigger and better and you know these giant you know 40 inch wheels and you know huge lifts and all that kind of stuff which is fun and i know you highlight a lot of that in the magazine and we highlight some of that when it comes to uh the carts that we feature on the show but at the same time you know the 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 true audience i believe which is like you just described which is just it's kind of your average joe or jane who's working on a cart in their garage they're they're adding a lift kit to something that they had or they're putting some new wheels and tires or they're just kind of upgrading a little bit here and there they love to see all those fancy things and it's cool to to watch and see the you know the big ones and the fancy ones uh but when it comes down to it you know their base deal is hey we want to like you said i love the the idea of that's what we do at converted carts also is you know it's all about having the, the best looking golf cart in the neighborhood right so you want to one up your neighbor and what can you do uh to make sure that your golf cart looks better when it's pulling out of the garage better than the guy next door kind of a thing. So yeah, similarities think, there for sure. I agree. And I, and I think, you know, we've added a lot of features to the magazine to support that we do uh, ask the mechanic, you know, we'll, we'll get questions, you know, how do I do this? And, you know, 
what we saw in the beginning, mostly, <laughs> I'd say half of the questions were, how do we get our golf cart to go faster? So, you know, that right there just tells us who, who our target audience is. You know, it's, it's not your, your, your people, like you said, with the 40 inch wheels and tires. I think that's a little few and far between. Very cool. We love to see that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's just your, uh, your typical uh, neighborhood guy riding to the pool, going to his parades and, you know, maybe going up to the store and stuff like that. But uh, it's very cool to see the, the progression, you know, of how uh, things have changed and uh, all the new products that come out and, you know, how receptive people are to them, you know. Yeah, that's a great point. I think the magazine does a great job of, of like you said, kind of highlighting the trends and the, the products and manufacturers of carts and things like that and all the products that, that come out there relative to sound or power or speed or uh accessory you know that kind of stuff so i think that's a big part of what we uh, have done and plan to do uh, relative to the channel is to really try to use golf karting tv as just a place where people can come and find and watch cool upgrades some over the top mostly are going to be just kind of cooler than maybe what they have now and just a, a way to see what other people are doing, learn a little bit, have a little fun, a little entertainment. Um, but I think that's the idea is just to give somebody uh, a little tip, little idea, education, maybe something like that. But uh, we really try to kind of spread the wealth as far as the knowledge goes is what we're covering. Yeah, I agree. And the good thing about us is we get to see um, personally, you know, we get to see a lot of this stuff before it even comes to market, you know, with a lot of these companies that want to be in the magazine a couple months from now, we'll get to see these new, uh, you know, sound system or motors or, or screens or, or whatever it may be that's coming out. And, you know, me as a, uh, as a tech guy, I'll tinker around with my golf cart as well. Um, it's just nice to see, uh, all these new products coming out. Yeah. And that's again, well, as, as looking forward to what the show is going to offer, I think there's a couple of things that we're going to be doing. One is kind of keeping doing what we're doing now, which is highlighting and featuring carts, both from just your, you know, average consumers and also dealers that have big fancy or builders that have big fancy carts. Cause we do want to highlight that stuff. Cause it's always fun. Uh, but we also want to offer a couple different things for, uh, dealerships, golf art dealerships. So we'll have what we call the dealer spotlight where we'll be able to highlight uh, individual dealers. So that's an opportunity just to kind of spread the word about dealers as they're you know doing what they can, whether they're brand new or they've been around for 15 years. Uh, we want to give them an opportunity to tell their story through kind of a third party uh, tool. And then we'll also have kind of brand features where we can highlight some of those individual products or uh, carts themselves and really kind of feature and give them a, an outlet or a, an avenue to be able to get some of the word out there too. So kind of a combination of telling individual stories, but also telling some of the brand and, and corporate stories as well. Yeah. And I think there's a huge place for that. And there's, there's not really anybody doing a lot of that in the industry. We had a, a dealer spotlight in the magazine as well. And we've gotten so much feedback from that, um, how it's helped people's businesses. You know, they're proud. They, they hang it on the wall. You know, it makes them feel uh, more important and, and it drives more business to them, which is kind of our main goal. And we get thanked. I'd probably get 10 emails a month from people thanking us for what we're doing, you know, especially a lot of the companies in the industry, because there's it's really a lack of places to market. There isn't, uh, you know, a lot of magazines out there. We're the only ones that are actually on the, the newsstands. And I think there needs to be more, you know, to get these things out there into the, into the public eye. Uh, just kind of a teaser a little bit, maybe of something to come, but I know uh, we'll, we'll be at the PGA show. So there's some, won't share much detail, but just kind of a little teaser. We'll be hopefully making kind of a splash with golf karting TV as a new entity of golf karting uh, magazine. And so it'll be fun to share and connect both with dealers and buyers and uh, manufacturers and things like that. So that's going to be a good time. And then just generally, I think making the connections and, and basically kind of be in the place. If you're, if you're looking for cool upgrades, fun uh, accessories, latest and greatest products, uh, news sometimes here and there, that kind of stuff. I think that's that's what the hope of the channel is going to be. So I'm excited for sure. Yeah. And I think we'll be, you know, right on the forefront of that. You know, I think the power of the magazine with the added television uh, aspect of it, um, I think a lot more of these products and dealers and manufacturers will be coming to us to, to showcase their stuff. So, you know, I think... Uh, We'll have our foot in the door and probably be some, you know, breaking news a lot of the times in a lot of our videos of new things that have never been seen before. And I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's exciting. And I think that's what 
again makes us different hopefully make people yeah. want to stay and subscribe and and like and share and all that fun stuff so as we wrap up just want to say thanks christian for coming appreciate you uh spending the time glad to partner up with you here on this stuff and i really look forward to uh, where this thing is gonna go of course me too I'm, i think we're gonna have a lot of fun doing it along the way